Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I would like to do a review of the ordinary products in my collection. I do have eight products out of which some worked, some didn't. So what I would like to do is talk about the products and talk about how they worked or didn't work for me. So without further ado, let's go into it. The Ordinary is a brand offered by The Seam, also known as The Abnormal Beauty Company. And their products are very potent and very, very, very affordable. They do offer shipping in France, free shipping above 25 euros, and otherwise it's 5 euros of shipping. I did buy all of these products from their official website except the rosehip oil, which I bought from Beauty Bay because I didn't know that they offered shipping to France. Hello. First of all, I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution with a pH of approximately 3.6, which is fabulous for your skin. Glycolic acid is an exfoliant for your skin. Usually it comes in 5%. For example, you can find the Alpha H Liquid Gold, which is a toning solution of glycolic acid in 5% concentration. You also have the famous Pixie Glow Tonic in 5%. The Ordinary offers 7%. And the highest rate that you can find is approximately 10%. Glycolic acid exfoliates your skin. It helps remove the top layer of dead skin cells of your skin. And it offers... It's a very nice quick solution to get your skin glowing, remove all that dullness, especially during the winter times when your skin is a little bit flaky. I do love it. This toning solution is a water-based solution. It comes also with extracts from Tasmanian paperberry, uh, aloe vera and uh, ginseng root to soothe your skin while it is, it's exfoliated. It's gonna burn, but just allow your skin to get used to it. You know, like with every acid, you need um, to let your skin adapt to this kind of uh, product. The Ordinary recommend using it in the evening skincare routine, once a day, not more, because you can destroy your skin barrier, you can compromise your skin. Also, it's not recommended to use on hypersensitive skin and uh, do use a sunscreen after this, because sunscreen is not optional. You're gonna damage your skin. You can see that I've put quite a dent into it. I've been loving this very much. I do use it every other day because I have other toners that I want to use and I, I don't like to use it, especially when I have too many acids in the evening. So I just try to balance this, but I've been loving it, especially when I have a little bit of flakiness, when my acne is healed. Next I have the Advanced Retinoid 2%. Now they market it as the Coronactive Retinol Emulsion. Now this bottle is completely empty. I just scraped what was left in it yesterday and I did order another retinol, an actual retinol, because I want to try that. The Advanced Retinoid 2% uses the next generation retinoid which allows you to use this without any skin irritation, without flakiness, which is associated with retinol. And um, it, because of this, it can't really be compared with retinol. Uh, you do get same results, but you can't compare with actual retinol, and especially in terms of concentration in your bottle. Now, of course, this is not an active treatment, and the ordinary does say on their website that you might break out a lot after this because you're gonna be in a purging stage. I did not experience any of that. Actually, this helped a lot with my acne. I've seen instant results with it. It reduced my uh, my breakouts. It reduced my spots. I, I've, <clears throat> I've really been enjoying this. It's a very lightweight creamy formula with a milky white uh, color to it. You do have to put it in the evening because your skin is gonna be much more sensitive to the sun and again you have to put sunscreen. It just, it's, 
it's so obligatory, it's mandatory. Next is a product that didn't really work for my skin, which is a pity because I really enjoy vitamin C. I've used vitamin C serums in the past and they've worked nice for my skin. But this one just, my skin doesn't like it. And I'm talking about the vitamin C 23% suspension plus hyaluronic acid spheres in 2%. Now, this is a pure form of phyllascorbic acid, which is fantastic, especially it doesn't have any silicones, it doesn't have any water, it doesn't have any oils. And that allows it to be extremely stable and not oxidize like uh, other serums that you might have seen oxidize and transform into this uh, orange liquid and it's no longer useful for your skin. Vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant. It can reverse the signs of aging, help with the fine lines, help with sunspots, help with acne scarring. It's a marvelous ingredient, but this particular cream just didn't work for me. Uh, Many people have complained about it being very oily, it doesn't sink into the skin, uh, it has a greediness to it, and I do agree with all of that, but I could get over it if it would work, but it doesn't, and just, I've been trying to incorporate it slowly into my routine, but it just doesn't work, it breaks me out. And Next, we have a product that I have been enjoying enormously. I'm on my second bottle now and I'm talking about the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. AHA and BHA stand for alpha hydroxyl acid and beta hydroxyl acid, also known as salicylic acid. Uh, the alpha hydroxyl is composed of glycolic, uh, lactic, tartaric and citric acid. This is a very powerful peeling solution and I absolutely love this. It also has, just like the glycolic acid, um, Tasmanian paperberry extracts in order to soothe your skin while it's peeling, which is why it has this red color to it. The AHA exfoliates the topmost layer of your skin, so it's gonna eliminate all those dead skin cells and the BHA, the salicylic acid, is gonna clear all your pores which makes the spilling solution a very powerful one and I've been really enjoying it like I said uh, when I put it on, when I rinse it off, I just can feel my texture changing I feel my skin being very smooth, I don't have any roughness, any dry patches and I just really like it and with continued use it can uh, help with uh, sunspots, with acne scarring and also with fine lines. Next I have an oil, this is the rose hip seed oil, 100% organic and cold pressed. Now cold pressed means that it's gonna retain all its goodness as compared to hot pressed, I guess, to hot temperatures where it's gonna just lose all its in vital ingredients. This is rich in linoleic acid and linolenic acid, yes, uh, which are skin conditioning and uh, promote skin restoration. So this is very good for acne prone skin, which is why I bought it. Now this has a more of a viscous texture to it rather than uh, oily. I mean, it is oily, but it's not very runny. This is supposed to hydrate, to improve your skin, to uh, help with the blemishes and the acne scarring, which is mainly why I wanted to try this. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, in the more uh, warm days, I would use only this as a hydrator and I wouldn't use a cream afterwards and I really loved it but because I wanted to try uh, more oils I didn't buy this again oh, if you haven't seen this bottle is empty I didn't 
rebuy this. I'm trying right now the marula oil, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. This has a, a certain smell to it, which reminds me of fish oil. Mainly because it's rich in omega fatty acids, so it has that smelly smell to it, and I'm very um, sensitive to marine smells because I just I, I don't eat anything that comes from the sea because of the smell. I just I'm very sensitive to that. So this was a drawback in the beginning because I put it on my face and then this smells funny, <laughs> but. Like I said, I did love this. I'm currently using the marula oil. Again, 100% organic and cold pressed, so it's gonna retain all its goodness. This one is rich in oleic acid and, lino and linoleic acid and oleic acid. Now, as I was saying, I'm currently trying out the marula oil. Uh, I had received this in the beginning of the month, of January. Uh, again, it's 100% organic and cold pressed, which means it's going to retain all its goodness. It's rich in antioxidants, it's rich in oleic acid and linoleic acid, which again, we're going to nourish the skin and help restore it. This is a very good oil for healing the skin and apparently it's good for acne prone skin. Uh, I did observe some kind of uh, process on my skin with the inflammation. I did see that it kind of helped heal my uh, breakouts. Um, now, uh, with this one, <laughs> um, so the mailman rang and I answered the door and I get my package and I'm all happy and taking photos and then I open it and open up uh, all the bottles looking at them and then I get to the marula oil and it's frozen solid like really it was butter <laughs> this it was a bummer in the beginning but then I like it's I guess it's something normal so I just hold it and held it in my hand for two minutes and it came back to a liquidy form so I don't have any problems with that but in case that happens to you just keep in mind that's normal <laughs> I prefer the rose hip oil for the moment just because that one felt more hydrating for my skin uh, this one I have to go in with a cream afterwards but uh, I'm not saying that this is bad in any way shape or form you know everybody's different but I'm gonna continue using it you know uh, the hype on the internet with the marula oil is real and I'm, I'm interested to see what's gonna give and for the past month, it's been good. Next, I have my all-time favorite. Again, a second bottle. Just ordered it. This is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. High-strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Niacinamide is vitamin B3, which uh, improves the appearance of your skin, improves the appearance of blemishes, uh, for me, it's really a must-have in any skincare routine because I'm in love with this. <laughs> I bought this in August along with the retinoid and I've seen fantastic results with this one. Um, now, the zinc salt in this is gonna help balance your sebum production. Uh, you should not combine this with vitamin C because it's gonna affect the vitamin C integrity so uh, you're gonna get less of an impact from your vitamin C if you put in the niacinamide too. Uh, now uh, this is supposed to improve your skin tone uh, like I said blemishes it's gonna heal your skin uh, it's gonna help with your large pores I mean, it's not gonna shrink them, we all know that's a myth, but it's gonna help with them. It's gonna reduce the appearance of large pores. Um, so, there's a thing about niacinamide, the rumors circulating that it's gonna inhibit the melanin production of the skin. Now, that's 
partly true because it's not gonna inhibit the melanin production in your skin but it's going to interfere with the transmission of information in the model, in the cells of your skin so it's gonna reduce uh, maybe around 60 percent uh, which is already uh, a big a big improvement. The process itself, uh, I read about this in a study, but it's way too complicated for me to explain. I mean, I'm not a chemist, I'm just a skincare junkie, that's all. Next, I have my January favorite, the alpha lipoic acid in 5%. This is an exceptionally strong formula. Usually it comes in 1% in certain creams. About this, I love this. It's improved my skin overnight. Uh, I use this every other day. Uh, it's supposed to be used like two to three drops two times a week, maybe three, which I'm, I'm trying to do. I use four drops, oopsie daisy, but it's, it's hard to not use this every day because you see the improvement. You can see the texture reduction, you can see how your breakouts are healing. It's just, it's magical. I absolutely love this and um, in the beginning it did sting a little bit my skin but I got used to it very quickly because I've seen an apparent reduction in my breakouts and how my pimples began to heal just overnight uh, I got interested in this so I read more about the alpha lipoic acid and apparently it prevents the activation of pro-inflammatory chemicals in your skin so it's gonna reduce the inflammation which is absolutely fantastic i mean i've seen this happen with my skin overnight ordinary does sell uh, an others antioxidants in case you're interested they have resveratrol and ferulic acid plus uk 134 i believe um, i was interested more in getting rid of my texture so that's why I bought the alpha lipoic acid uh, this is an oily formula uh, it's extremely runny you have to put it on quickly and blend it into your skin uh, it does leave a tiny bit of greasiness which goes away in like two or three minutes I've seen other people complain that the other antioxidants are extremely oily and take ages to sink into the skin. I haven't had any problems with this one so far. Now these are products that are currently into my collection. There are two more that are going to arrive at the end of the week. Like I said, I bought a replacement for my advanced retinoid 2%. I bought the retinol 0.5% in squelling. I've read uh, a lot of reviews about it and people are raving about it. I was too reluctant to buy uh, 1% just because my skin has never experienced pure retinol before and I want to not overstress this, especially because I'm acting prone and I want new breakouts. My, my skin right now is feeling really, really nice. And I also ordered the Metrixil 10%, which is a peptide. Metrixil is supposed to be an anti-aging treatment in the long term which because it stimulates collagen production. Now, how it works is that peptides are actually tiny molecules which occur when the collagen in your skin is going for a breakdown. So what Metrixil is going to do, it's going to mimic that collagen breakdown with all the peptides which is going to stimulate your skin to produce more collagen because it's gonna have the impression that the collagen is breaking down. So that is going to improve the signs of aging because as we age, collagen production reduces and we get all those fine wrinkles and sunspots and everything. And clearly I don't wanna age. But that's all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera and I'm very excited about that. I hope that you enjoyed this. Give it this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish more videos and 
Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever tried the Ordinary products, if they work for you or if they don't. Like, share your uh, thoughts and uh, opinions about this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!